Hello and welcome to the Unitrends Learning Series. In this video, we're going to look at how you can create an isolated network for testing with reliable DR. So why would you want to create the isolated network within reliable DR? Well, it's very simple. The way reliable DR works is we take all the machines that we're testing, so physicals, virtuals, etc., and put them inside this isolated network so that as we run the tests, they don't, uh, they don't get out, they can't get to the live networks, there is no interaction with any functioning systems, so it is totally isolated. And this is actually very, very easy to do. It's done with inside the VMware client itself. So you can create one network, two networks. It can be isolated to a single host. It's up to you. So what we'll do is we'll switch over now to the VMware client and go through the procedure for doing this. It's very, very simple. So here we are in the VMware client. As I say, very, very simple to do this. It's just a normal network. So this can be done from quite a few different ways, obviously within the client. But if I just take one of my hosts here, ESX Prod 1, if I come to configuration and networking, I've already got all my stat all my existing networks plus a reliable DR test network that I have on this installation. But if I want to add another one, because of course you can have more than one, I can do add networking. I can say, okay, is it a virtual machine or is it for a VM kernel? Well, it's for a virtual machine. So do next, create a new switch. Now, the important thing here is not to use an adapter. So don't use one of these existing vSwitch adapters because we want no external network connectivity. Now you can join these together so if you want to use a VLAN, et cetera, that's up to you. So if you want to connect them between multiple hosts, but the important thing is they cannot get access to your live network. Otherwise you'll simply have two machines on the same network with the same IDs. So I'll just call this one reliable DR. So name, I can give it a VLAN ID if I want. I choose next and that's it. I choose finish. So it's as simple as that. So as we can see now, if I just scroll down, here's that network that I produced. So there are no physical adapters to it. So any machines that I add to that network will not get outside it. That is the key thing. So with that, we'll leave it at this point and we'll look at additional items in other videos. So how to use that isolated network with inside reliable DR, how to add the machines to it and all the other configurations, as well as a whole host of other video series to do with our backup products and everything else. So please come back and join us in some of the other videos.